These are images of a new ballistic missile, which North Korea's state media says was successfully fired from a submarine. At least one was launched on Tuesday morning near the port city of Sinpo, off the country's east coast. Pyongyang says the weapon has guidance technology, which could make it harder to track and intercept. The advancement towards a submarine launch missile is actually a pretty big step. I mean, the, the most obvious thing it gives North Korea is tremendous range, right? I mean, you could send the submarine basically anywhere in the world as long as it remains undetected, which is something of a challenge depending on the sub's age and engine type. But I mean, as long as it remains undetected, I mean, you could effectively launch from anywhere. Both South Korea and Japan say the test was deeply regrettable. The U.S. has condemned the launch and repeated calls for a meeting with Pyongyang. We call on the DPRK to refrain from further provocations and engage in sustained and substantive dialogue. And our commitment to the defense of the Republic of Korea and Japan remains ironclad. Uh, these launches also underscore uh, the urgent need for dialogue and diplomacy. Our offer remains to meet anywhere, anytime, without preconditions. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has accused the U.S. of hostility and says his country must defend itself against its enemies. Pyongyang has conducted eight missile tests this year, some in breach of UN sanctions. In September, it claimed to have launched a hypersonic missile. South Korea is meanwhile building up its own defenses. On Wednesday morning, President Moon Jae-in spoke at the opening of a weapons fair in Seoul. A strong defense capacity is always aimed at ensuring peace. The Republic of Korea seeks to build a smart and a strong armed forces based on state-of-the-art technology and will ensure peace with the world. U.S. envoy Sun Kim is expected to travel to Seoul for talks with Japanese and South Korean officials later this week. Intelligence chiefs from the three countries met on Tuesday. China, North Korea's closest ally and trading partner, has called for all parties to exercise restraint, but it stopped short of condemning the tests. Beijing has been accused of hindering a UN report into Pyongyang's response to its sanctions. In early October, North Korea reopened communications with Seoul for the first time in months. Moon Jae-in is pushing to formally end the Korean War, which has technically been going on since the 1950s an act he hopes will help bring Pyongyang back to the negotiating table. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.